Do you understand the difference between near to and next to, in front of and opposite? Well, in today's lesson, I hope to make it clearer for you. On refers to the position of something on a surface. There is direct contact, okay? It's not separate, it's on the surface. The computer is on my desk. I sit on the sofa to watch television. We use above or over when something has a higher position than something else. The light is above the table, or the light is over the table. The cupboard is above the sink, or the cupboard is over the sink. There is usually no contact. However, occasionally we do use over to mean over something else when there is contact. I am wearing a jacket over my top and there is contact. He is wearing a jumper over his t-shirt. We use under or below to indicate when one thing is lower than another thing. The cat is under the table. Like the example with over, we can use under when there is contact. My top is under my jacket. He is wearing a shirt under his jumper. When something is in, it is not out. Her mobile phone is in her bag. The cake is baking in the oven. Between is used to indicate the space in the middle of two people, two objects, or even two places. She is sitting between her colleagues, Alex and Rose. Near, near to and close to mean not far away in distance. We can say, Mark's dog always sits near him. Mark's dog always sits near to him. Mark's dog always sits close to him. Is there a supermarket near here? We use next to when two people, places or things are very near to each other. And I describe it as side by side. Tom sits next to Sally. So the difference between near to and next to is that near could be here or here or here, but close to you. Whereas next to is side by side. In front of means further forward in relation to something else. The fire engine is parked in front of the fire station. If referring to people, then we usually mean like this. Imagine you are in a queue. British people love to queue. When they queue, usually they look in the same direction. Person B is in front of person A. Person C 
is in front of person B. Remember, they are all looking in the same direction. Behind means at the back of. The red car is behind the blue car. Using the same example of people in a queue, we can see that person A is behind person B. Person B is behind person C and person C is behind person D. Opposite means to be on the other side facing. The two men are opposite each other. So what's the difference between opposite and in front of? Well, with opposite, people are usually face to face. Instead, with in front of, it is about the position of being before another person. Now you can practice. The bus is the car. The bus is behind the car. The children are riding their father. The children are riding in front of their father. The boy is his friend. The boy is opposite his friend. The lady is her colleague. The lady is next to her colleague. They are walking side by side. The park is the school. The park is near the school. The dog is its bed. The dog is in its bed. The books are the shelf. The books are on the shelf. The greenhouse is the pink house and the yellow house. The greenhouse is between the pink house and the yellow house. The two girls are their umbrella. The two girls are under their umbrella. The kite is their heads. The kite is above their heads. If you found this lesson useful, then please like it and subscribe if you would like more English lessons with me. Take care, everybody. I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye.